from Tudor Fieldhouse in Houston, Texas. It's the Rice Owls hosting the Oklahoma State Cowgirls. Chris Mykoski courtside both of these teams off the two and one starts this season and coming off successful years. The Cowgirls reached the round of 32 in the NCAA tournament. All Rice won the WNIT. Our players to watch tonight starting with Lauren Fields for Oklahoma State, one of the league's best distributors in the Big 12. She ranked 12th with 3.3 assists. She's up to 13.3 points per game this year. And for Rice, it's a lone returning starter from last season, Caitlin Crossway. We are ready to go from Tudor Fieldhouse, Oklahoma State, dressed in anthracite with orange letters and numbers. Rice clad in the white home uniforms with navy blue letters and numbers. Thanks for spending part of your Saturday with us here on ESPN+. Plus. You see the starting five for Oklahoma State. The Cowgirls get first possession, but immediately give it away as Lauren Fields, the aforementioned spotlight player, gives it away. And the starting five for the Owls, one change from Wednesday's win against Texas Southern as Destiny Jackson likely unable to go today. Trinity Gooden gets the start. We saw Jackson with her left arm in a sling in warmups. Gooden, she walked with it. And back-to-back -back turnovers, one on each side. Nia Boyd at the top of the key. Over to Lexi Keys, the sophomore. Knocks it down. Lexi didn't have any points in Wednesday's win against Missouri State. And she gets her first two of this Saturday afternoon affair. Malia Fisher drives the hole, misses. Fighting hard for the rebound. Ultimately coming up with it is Cassie DeLapp. The 6'3 center out of El Dorado Hills, California. Boyd pulls it back out, hands it to Talon Collins. Now this is Keys again. The center at the top of the key. Under 10 on the shot clock as Field uses the screen. Baseline two, no good. Two to nothing Cowgirls in the early going. Fisher from three, way off the mark, but the rebound brought down by Austin. Can't make the put back. The Cowgirls are running. Collins mishandles the pass out of bounds. The coach for Oklahoma State is Jim Littell, two time Big 12 Coach of the Year both in 2016 and last season. Last year led the Cowgirls to a program record 13 wins in Big 12 conference play. And as I mentioned earlier, Oklahoma State ultimately reaching the round of 32 in the NCAA tournament, which as you remember was held in bubble format here in Texas. Every single game played in Central Texas. San Antonio, San Marcos, and Austin. And again, Rice gives it away. The Owls led by first-year head coach Lindsey Edmonds, the sixth head coach in program history, taking over after eight seasons on staff at North Carolina State. Keys off the back of the iron, brought down by Malia Fisher. Pass intercepted by Lauren Fields. She steps in front, tries to take it herself off the rim and no good. Still two to nothing as we approach seven minutes remaining in the opening quarter. The Cowgirls with the only bucket so far and that came from Keys. Crossweight. Another travel credited to Rice. Crossweight had 17 points on Wednesday as Rice beat Texas Southern 59 to 47. 
She scored in double figures in all three games so far. Had 14 in the opener against St. Edwards and then 19 against Louisiana Lafayette. Boyd, she had five last time off the mark. Brought down by Winchester after it hit the floor. Diving for the ball that time, Winchester, but Crossway ultimately comes up with the basketball. Gooden feeds it down low to Fisher. Back up top to Austin. She drives, left hand, good. First two points of the game for the Owls. Tied at two with 6.20 remaining in the first. Winchester setting a screen for Fields. In the paint, Fields no good. Gooden gains possession for the Owls. Gooden looks to the bench at Coach Edmonds. Signaling the orders. Alexis Stover driving with her left hand. Stops at the top of the key. No good. Wide right. And the putback misses from Ashley Austin. Brittany Reeves. An important presence down low for Oklahoma State. Playing big right now with Winchester and Reeves on the floor. And it's Reeves from just inside the three-point line. Missing. And Winchester couldn't find the handle. Out of bounds and Rice ball. Nefertali Natoa checking in. As well as Taylor Collins re-entering the game for OSU. Gooden, outside, crossweight, can't hit. OSU to Reeves, off the mark, put back, but the foul before that put back attempt was made. Straight up, five minutes to go.